Today we are continuing our look at dictation commands on iOS and Android. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So after a lot of positive feedback from my last video talking about some dictation tips and tricks for iOS and Android, I decided I would make another one and continue this series. Once again, we're gonna be demonstrating this on the iPad, but a lot of these commands are very similar on Android. So if you see something in this video, definitely try it out on Android. It's probably gonna work there too. I have a whole list of different commands that I printed off for this video. I will have a link to this list in the description down below so you can check those out as well. So let's rearrange the camera and we'll get started. So really there's just a couple commands that people may not be aware of that they can do with their voice when they're dictating a message. Number one, of course, has to be punctuation. This may be something you don't realize is that you can dictate your punctuation in your message. So for example, Jonathan, comma, new paragraph. How are you? Question mark. It was so great to see you, comma, and your mother, comma, last week, exclamation mark. What time will you be coming over tonight? Question mark. Does 6.30 p.m. sound okay? Question mark. New paragraph. I'll see you then, exclamation mark. New paragraph, Sam. So you can see that adding in the punctuation just makes everything flow better and it just makes it a much more pleasant letter to read. And I really encourage you guys to use this. I see this so many times in comments and emails. It is really hard to read a very long message that doesn't have any punctuation, especially if you're using some kind of screen reader. It's just one continuous sentence and everything just runs together and it's really hard to follow. So here's an example of that same message, roughly the same message, written without any punctuation. Jonathan, how are you? It was great to see you and your mother the other day. What time will you be coming over for dinner? Does 630 sound decay? Can't wait to see you then, Sam. Insert. So you see, it's, it's kind of hard to follow. It's just one long run-on sentence. So definitely add in that punctuation. Now, of course, you can enter in the very common punctuation that we use all the time, but you can also put in some of those less common punctuation and symbols whenever you might need those. So for example, dollar sign, new line, apostrophe, new line, hyphen, new line, percent sign, new line, asterisk, new line, inverted question mark, new line, backslash, new line, forward slash, new line, copyright sign, new line, colon, new line, underscore, so you see, you can add in just about any symbol out there as long as you say it, and oftentimes you'll have to put the word sign afterwards. One thing we talked about in the last video was how to capitalize a word, and that was very helpful. But another command that I think is really helpful is the ability to add a space or to not add a space. Now, you might be wondering, why would I not add a space? Well, I can't tell you how many times I've dictated out an email address and then had to go back in and delete the spaces in between the words. But no more, all you have to do is say no space. Now, it is a little tricky. Sometimes it gets it, sometimes it doesn't. Let's try it out here. Fingers crossed it works for us right now. The no space blind, no space, life, no space, Sam, no space, at sign, gmail.com. 
inserted the blindlithosome at gmail.com. All right, we got it. It worked. <laughs> so it wrote out a perfect email address without any spaces. And finally, let's talk about emojis. You can enter emojis with your voice. Now, unfortunately, you can't put them all in. Smiley. New line. Frowny. New line. Winky. New line. So there's a couple ways to put in those. You could say smiley, you could say smiley face, uh, you could say frowny face, frown, winky face, winky. Those will all work. Unfortunately, you can't do some of the more complicated emojis, like the poop emoji, <laughs> you know, uh, crying tears of joy face. Those things don't work. I've tried all different kind of combinations and it just doesn't work. Also, some people say, well, if you just put the word emoji after it, it will work, and no, unfortunately, that doesn't work, at least not on iOS. Poop emoji. Nope. New line. Crying face. New line. Crying face emoji. New line. Cry face. New line. Crying. New line. So none of those worked. We didn't get the emoji for any of those different commands. You'll find similar results on Android, although I have had better results getting emojis using my voice on Android. There you go, guys. That was just a couple more voice commands for dictation or voice typing on mobile systems. Now, I will say that we don't have a ton of options for mobile devices as far as voice commands. If we go to computers, if we start going into voice dictation on computers, we have a lot more control using our voice. So maybe I will do a video talking about that sometime in the future. Well, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, please help out the channel by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with every time I upload a video. Thanks again, Sam with The Blind Life. We'll see you next time.